Next question will be uh, for Ms. Fuller first. Street lighting is one visible indicator of our city's infrastructure challenges. What steps do you believe need to be taken to repair and to replace the lighting throughout the city? We've been very lucky to work with Foster Campbell's office to get some grants to improve some of our lighting, but I do think that it's one of the things that um, in, the, in the current, in the present, we need more staff and more equipment in order to move faster at repairs and replacing. But I think that in the long term, we're going to end up needing more money, in particular for downtown, where we have new light bulbs, new LED instruments, but we're going to need to deal with the appliances. And actually, just going back to downtown for a minute, in order to make it more attractive and more tax productive, which is something that sustains the entire city, lighting, improve, improving our lampposts, improving the aesthetics is something that will go a long way. And I think that that is going to be something that needs to have um, specific priority revenues for it as a line item and, and possibly in the future a transparent and well thought out bond. Ms. Fuller, thank you. Mr. Perkins. Yeah, this time I'd just like to thank the citizens for voting uh, for the public safety bond because in that bond was $5 million specifically for lights. We're assessing the neighborhoods that need it most right now and you will be seeing our neighborhoods get much, much brighter in the future. So thank you for that investment. Uh, but uh, Councilwoman has already pointed out, we also partnered with the Public Service Commission as well to pay for lights within our city. But earlier I alluded to the fact that the Parish Commission collects a 5.92 mil for public works. That goes to infrastructure and that can go to lighting as well. I would like to see the parish give the city more assistance collecting almost $6 million. And since I've been in office, the only assistance that we've gotten from the parish thus far is a traffic light on Southern Loop that was $200,000. If you do the math, collecting nearly $6 million a year is not there yet. So I'd like to close that gap at the city of Shreveport so that we can light our city up and we can all feel safer and we can see more commerce. Mr. Perkins, thank you very much. Mr. Arsenal. Street lighting in neighborhoods is quite important because that's where people feel safe walking outside. If you want to make a neighborhood walkable, particularly as we're about to get out of daylight savings time, you have to provide good lighting uh, for after work hours and let people feel safe in their own neighborhoods. That means we have to work with SWEPCO. We have to decide who is going to be responsible for bulb replacement and how it will be done. One of the things we might consider doing is to have regular inspections and also uh, put signage to let people know how do they report a light that is out. It is true that government cannot fix something that it doesn't know about. I know from my experience on the council that occasionally people would call about a problem and no one at the city was even aware that the problem existed until somebody called about it. We need to make sure that people know who to call and how to call. Mr. Arsenault, thank you. Mr. Chavez. So the number one topic is, is obviously crime when it comes to the, the citizens' report, and that was what we heard over the last eight months. But to decrease the crime, it's obviously lighten up the neighborhoods. We want, we want high visibility neighborhoods that look very safe for our residents. One of the things that I realized is a lot of people told me they would call down to the city and they would report the light was out, and then a month later they'd call down there and no, no traction whatsoever. So sometimes politicians are, on, are all talk, but what I want to do is we actually have a Southern Hills mobile app where we made this for my district in Southern Hills. We created an app that would allow people to go online and actually report a street light that is out. And we have that, and we've had that for the last three years. And that's outlaid in our 100-day plan is how do citizens report issues? How do they report potholes, street lights out? One of the coolest things, I was talking with uh, the government director of SWEPCO just last week, and he said they're about to roll that very thing out with SWEPCO. So the city of Shreveport's going to be able to include an overlay with, this, with the SWEPCO, and we can get this accomplished. Thank you. Mr. Chavez, thank you very much.